Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to the McIntosh County Board of Education's business meeting for August the 14th, 2023. Who would please stand for the invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Our Father God, we give you thanks and praise again for your many blessings. We thank you for how you've blessed our school system and continue to pray that you'll continue to bless us and continue to give us the guidance and protection, God, that we so desire. We ask these blessings in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, item number three is a presentation from the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for uh, giving us the opportunity to come up here today. Just wanted to share a few of the things that we had going on over the summer uh, across the way over at the Y and some of the things coming up and some of the things that Dr. Williams and I have spoken on just to hopefully get some good things going. Um, first, just wanted to mention uh, the summer camp program that we just winded down. Uh, we had a small group this year, but a good group. And so uh, we were able to take them on field trips once a week. They went to the bowling alley a few times, went to the movies, and then they had a really great field trip over to Sea Island. Um, where they were able to go and visit the nature center over there. Um, they were able to go out to the beach and explore the beach, which some of those kids, it was their very first time seeing the beach, which was a really wonderful thing uh, to be a part of with them. Uh, they were also able to learn how to cast net, which is a pretty cool oh. thing. Um, yeah. uh, to see some of them grabbing the cast net and yes. throwing it out there <laughs> catching some fish was really wild. Um, and so they were able to get up close with some alligators, snakes, turtles, things like that, and learn about them and, you know, learn not to be afraid and just learn about them. So it was really great. Um, and that was something that we has become <laughs> an annual thing for the um, for the summer campers here now. So they really look forward to it every year. And that's something that Sea Island provides to us free of charge. And so we had lunch over there and all sorts of good things. So uh, a great trip that they did. Um, those same campers also were given access twice a week to our swimming pool down at the Brunswick YMCA. Um, and so they received safety around water courses um, twice a week and then had about an hour of free swim after that. Um, and with that safety around water, thanks to uh, one of our board members over at the McIntosh YMCA, Michelle, uh, Michelle Walt uh, Walchek, they were able to do uh, rip current safety around water training too, so safety around moving water. So to teach kids if they were to go swim in the marsh or any moving body of water, how to safely get themselves out or safely float. Um, so a really great thing that we were able to provide for those kids as well. Um, and just personally, I was there uh, every time that they were at the pool and getting to see uh, the 15 or so kids participate in the swimming throughout the summer. Um, one in particular, this was his, I believe this might be his last summer with us. Um, <coughs> with about two weeks to go in the summer, he took his life jacket off, passed the swim test, and was swimming. All right. So really great thing. And so really happy to be able to provide that for him, uh, to see the smile on his face as he was, you know, getting in the water for the first time without a life jacket and watch him do the swim test and pass it was really, really tremendous. And so really focusing on the swimming, um, the why in general, we've been able to provide, down here in Brunswick and McIntosh at least, we've been able to provide 131 children swim lessons um, and 80 more safety around water programming. And we're hoping to expand that dramatically. Um, and why do we do this? We do this because drowning is one of the leading causes of death in ages one through four, um, and the second leading cause of unintentional injury and death in ages five through 14, and we are surrounded by water. And so all these kids have an opportunity to be around water or be in water. And one of the ways that we're hoping to really improve what we're offering and increase the amount of children is with our second grade Learn to Swim program. And so this is, uh, starting in September uh, down in Glen County with Altama Elementary um, with their superintendent down there. We're going to start with them as our pilot program. This will allow every second grader to come to the Golden Isles YMCA to learn how to swim for free. Um, over a two-week stretch of time, they'll bus them over. Those kids will have it in their curriculum. They'll learn to swim. And so that will provide every second grader the chance to swim. Um, the hope is after that pilot program that I'll expand to every school in Glen County per the superintendent down there, and that would then provide uh, approximately 900 students the ability to learn how to swim in second grade. So I took Ms. Uh, Dr. Williams to lunch, and we <laughs> talked about that and said this would be a great thing, I think, for Todd Grant as well. 
Yes. And so our hope is that we could get Todd Grant on that as early as this fall or spring to get them down there um, for free swim lessons for the second graders and become that an annual tradition for them. That is our hope. Um, and we can expand that beyond second grade if needed. That's just the, um, the age that's been kind of told and recommended as when to learn how to swim and really give, offer it to kids where they can comprehend it. So that is our hope. <coughs> um, after school, we are located just across the parking lot at Todd Grant in, in the gymnasium. And so our after school program, just to give you all a little bit about that, um, we provide financial assistance and scholarship for any child that is in need of that, so we will never turn away someone uh, for inability to pay. Um, we provide different enrichment activities as far as uh, cooking classes and just different things like that. They do 30 minutes of reading every day. Um, and then with uh, Principal Riles, we've gotten together and gotten a hold of their curriculum so that those kids can touch on the hot spots um, that they're learning in the classroom so that in the after school program they're getting to go to the flashcards and hitting those really the topics that need to be hit. Um, and so our hope with that is that we can see, um, and I've spoken with Mr. Massa about this too, is that we can see a nice growth chart as how those kids are moving along and hopefully helping them out in the classroom just based on the after school. Um, one other thing to mention um, of note is down at the Glen, uh, at the Brunswick YMCA, and this is open to um, McIntosh County as well, we've started a, a Parkinson's boxing program. And so what that is, is we are now the only in Southeast Georgia licensed Parkinson's boxing program. And what that does, is, this was new to me, but it's really one of the best remedies and can actually reverse some of the effects of Parkinson's disease. And so those classes right now are Mondays at 12 and Fridays at 12. And they are we offer it free for the first seven times for someone to come in and try it out. And then after that, we will look at different options. But um, just Parkinson's disease itself affects the neurological and the brain and the left and right, and boxing is a natural remedy for that. So they have them in there um, doing different exercises, and we've been doing that for about a month now. And you, we've seen multiple people that have been coming be able to walk more upright, be able to focus more, and a little less uh, signs of the disease. So it's been a really great thing. Um, and that is opened up to uh, anybody up in uh, McIntosh uh, County as well. Um, and we hope to, at the Y, um, be offering some boxing lessons at the McIntosh County Y um, over by the interstate, uh, hopefully in the next month or so. Um, but as far as the Parkinson's goes right now, that's just down in Glen, but open to anyone, as we're the only um, south of Atlanta, the only uh, in southeast Georgia that can do it. Um, now, as far as the uh, Board of Education goes, um, just so y'all are aware, we do have a corporate membership partnership with y'all. And so what that means is discounted uh, membership rates for you and your families, um, different benefits. Uh, we can provide lunch and learns for the board. Um, we can do company field days, could be fun. Um, company fitness challenge and free safety around water for employees and their families. So anyone that's in need of that. And then obviously discounts on swim lessons and, and any of those things. Um, and so I, I told Dr. Williams that I did bring some week passes for everybody in the room today, as well as some just appreciated um, little notes of appreciation for what you all do, and that we would be providing those to all the teachers at Todd Grant um, as soon as we get a number on how many we need. So, all right. Well, I thank y'all for letting me uh, speak with y'all today. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for letting us know. We often wonder what all they're doing <laughs> for you know in the after school programs. We know our kids go there, but it's nice to have you come and actually tell us what you're doing with our students. Absolutely, absolutely. I'll pop in any time, and any time you have a question, please reach out, and um, anything I can do for y'all. And as far as the uh, the Parkinson's boxing, if you have any questions about that, please reach out. Uh, we're trying to expand that as far as we can because the benefits have been huge. Um, and then the, the second grade swim program, that's really our big focus. So, um, how, how many kids do y'all have in after school here? Right now, I checked the roster before I came over. Right now we've got 17. 17. So we can take as many as, as needed. Um, obviously, we've got the Boys and Girls Club right across the way, mm -hmm. which is a great organization as well. Um, and we can take set, we have 17 now, but we can take as many as needed. And we do provide financial assistance and any of those things, scholarships as well. So. well Y'all do a fantastic job, and, and the, the, the swimming is, very you know, important. learning how to swim is very important. Mm -hmm. But now... That cast net, that's pretty awesome too. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. The know how to hold the net. That's pretty cool. 
some pictures of that. I've got some <laughs> pictures do. of the kids like throwing the cast yeah. out, and it's just wild and seeing them. Just, even if they're bringing nothing back, they're just throwing oh, they it out. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Just as big as you know. Can never, can never be too young to throw a cast now. Oh, that's right. That's what we were trying to teach them that <laughs> in the yeah. swimming. So uh, that's all great. Good. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Cool. We appreciate. Thank it. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. much. <laughs> Okay, our next item, number four, citizens address the board. No one. Okay, number five is the approval of our work, I mean, our regular business meeting agenda, sorry. Can I have a motion? Motion. <laughs> motion by Mr. Strigel, second. Second. Second by Ms. McDonald. All those in favor? Okay, motion carries 5-0. Okay, item number six. Do we want to go to move to the consent agenda, or we want to go through the items? I think all of the items on here we discussed. There's last only week. two new yeah. things, and uh, we talked about them, but we just added them to get approval. Was the public hearing, mm -hmm. and we sent the press release, and then your board training. Okay. And the technology booth. Sorry. Okay. And I think we talked about that. We last did week. talk yeah. about it. We yeah. talked about all those. We just thought we'd put it on there so we could go ahead and get off moving on that. Okay. So is everybody good with items 7 through 19 on the consent agenda? Yes, yes ma'am. Motion. Good. Yeah. I'm good. Okay. Motion by Mr. Stragel. Second. Second by Mr. McIver. All those in favor? Okay. Motion carries 5-0. All right. Now we will vote on these items 7 through 19. Do you have a motion? Motion. Motion by Mr. McIver. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Hewitt. No discussion needed. All those in favor? Okay, motion carries 5 0. I will tell you a bit of good news on number 19. When she called to give them a heads up that we were going to be moving that amount of money, they thought it was because the interest rate wasn't high enough. Mm -hmm. She said, no, this is just the time of year we need to move money. And right. he said, well, I'm going to up your interest rate anyway. <laughs> oh, good. Fantastic. So we were excited about that. Love she should have said, yeah, that's really what it was. <laughs> 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 Try this that next month. This is the reason. This is the reason. Yeah. <laughs> well, do that again at the end of the year. Yeah. No, me either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, item number 20 is executive session, just personnel. And discipline. Okay. So student discipline. Mm -hmm. Student discipline. <laughs> okay, can I have a motion? Motion. Motion by Ms. McDonald. Second. Second. Second by Mr. McIver. All those in favor? Okay, motion carries 5 0. We will return. 81 degrees. Okay, the McIntosh County Board of Education had adjourned to executive session to discuss personnel and student discipline. Okay, I have a motion to return to open session. Motion. Motion by Mr. McIver. Second. Second. Mr. Hewitt. All those in favor? Motion carries 5 0. Okay, superintendent recommends personnel report as submitted. Have a motion? Motion. Motion by Ms. McDonald. Second. Second. Second by Mr. McIver. All those in favor? Motion carries 5 0. All right, board comments. We'll start down on this end. Just glad we're having a great year so far. Keep it up. Yep, stay safe, keep reading. Um, yeah, just welcome back and, uh, um, you know, good luck to the students. Start strong. And uh, I, uh, I'm looking for a exciting year. I know we're going to have one. And Dr. Williams is the person to lead our system in that direction. So I'm very confident. Yes, Thank you. Yes. Yes, yes. I'll echo the board members' comments uh, on welcoming everyone back and the exciting year ahead of us, getting excited about some Buccaneer football cranking back up. Um, and one other thing, I wanted to thank Shelly Sheets for her years of service here and the great job she did while she was here, and we wish her the very best in her, in her retirement. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'd just like to welcome everyone back, and we had a good first week of school, and working a few little kinks out, but we'll get there and have anything, Mr. Brown? Not anything. Not anything. All right, we're adjourned. All right.